Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. So last time we were about to engage hyperdrive, but I need to make some warp cells. Uh, in the meantime, when I left the space station, I actually got instructions to come back to the life form here. So I'm hoping he has something interesting to say to me. Uh, check it out though, look at it. I managed to land on the landing pad. I am so cool at this. The other thing I noticed actually, is that uh, I've actually started naming things. So I realized that when you kind of went through all of these discoveries and stuff like that, you can start naming things and uploading it to the world. So basically people who come and find my planet, if they ever find it, will find my system, which I called NanoSounds. I called the planet I'm currently on, I think it's uh, Nano Prime, and uh, this one here is Nano. As you can see, I'm really going with that Nano theme there. I highly apologize. I'll try and come up with something a bit more, uh, a bit more inventive in a little bit. Um, hello, you wanted me? I, I came all the way here because you said, please tell me you have warp cells. But Bumgy. Bong B Mo Motang. Oh god, you are a bit rude. The being snarls at me when I enter, but I have barely a chance to cow before it looks embarrassed, puts up its hands apologetically. This warrior seems on the edge, but it was clearly expecting me. As before, it relays a message to me, once again sent by whoever Nada and Polo are. The staccato missive is accompanied by a donation of antimatter from my mysterious benefactors, enough of it that I can build a warp cell for my hyperdrive. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am no wiser as to who Nada and Polo are, but I now have the means to locate them. Though I am strongly suspect I must, oh, okay, cool, choose, blah, 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 blah. So, mysterious things are mysterious thing. So, I'm not entirely sure if I have enough to make, uh, to make fuel just yet. So let's double check. I need more thomium, but that's all right, because we can we can mine stuff for that. Oh, hello, got a different one there. That's all right, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Um, I am interested in this though. Hello, we got new technology for me? Very nice, thank you very much. Um, so I'm very, I'm getting very addicted to this whole like, getting technology stuff. Right, so let's head back to the spaceship, dump some of my, um, my, Ooh, hello, some of my crap on there. I might actually head back to the other planet because that had quite a lot of thaumium. Uh, okay, let's get back into my little ship ship and double check. Um, so I, I've got plenty of that. Let's empty, okay, transfer to the main bit. Let's transfer that to the main bit. In fact, let's transfer a lot of this out. Emeril, I don't really need that. Uh, okay, so if I scan, there doesn't appear to be a great deal. So I'm gonna take off. Um, should we do a little scan again? Scanning the life signs on the ship's surface. Ship surface? Planet surface. My god, I can't even get Star Trek right. Incidentally, I went to see the brand new Star Trek film. I didn't hate it. I quite I quite liked it actually. Um yeah, it was it was really nice. Um yeah. It was a lot of fun, I thought. A lot of fun. A lot more fun than the other new Star Treks, yes, even the one with Benny. Um I'm gonna land here and see what that is. But yeah, I think they definitely got the crew dynamic a lot better than in previous brand new Star Treks, especially Bones. Bones has always been the funny man, and um, I'm glad they kind of gave him a little bit more space to be funny in this time. Hello, the Lab Prosa. You know, all that kind of crazy alien shrieking that's going on in the background, I'm really worried that it's uh, a bad thing. It's like gonna be a giant monster that just comes and eats my face off. Um, right, let's scan. So there's some stuff there. I'm not entirely sure that's what I need. I need like a, a red thing. So I might head back to my the original planet we came from because that actually has quite a lot of the thing that I need. It's platinum, but I don't really, hello. I don't really need platinum. I keep on confusing platinum with latinum as well. Latinum. Been watching a lot of Deep Space Nine recently. 
Yeah, right. I'm gonna head back to the other planet because I know that there's lots of uh, thormium or whatever it's called there. No, I did not mean... I don't want to use my bolt caster, god. There we go. Mining beam. Do you know the mining thing actually sounds like a, a ye olde um, teleporters. Teleporters? Something very Star Trek-y from one of the original Star Trek films. I think it's the teleporter. Right. Ship, planet, thormium. Okay, so new plan. I found informal Yalvin. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna land on an informal Yalvin over here. If I could just aim my starship. You wouldn't think it would be that hard to hit a freaking planet. But let's go. Blast some uh, asteroids out of my way. All right, let's drop out a pulse drive. It looks like another dire place. But I thought I'd try my hand again at a uh, ship landing. Let's go boost you a little bit. Boost me. I'm gonna land. Oh god. Pew pew. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. Actually, I don't need to land on a planet to get thormium. I can just blow stuff up. Okay. That's one way of doing it. Well, I guess I'm going to blow stuff up and land on this planet. Oh, right. I guess. Okay. So, you need a specific asteroid. Oh, that's quite cool. I like. I love the way you can actually just blow up the bits like that. So what if I... Is that thormium? Okay, so here we go. We can actually blow up these guys. So maybe informal Yalvin will just be informal for a little bit longer. Because I really want to make that hyperdrive come to life. So let's do that instead. Okay, so we've got enough to craft a hyperdrive. Should we do it? I mean, it's right there. Okay, let's, let's have a cheeky little look. A cheeky little look. Plant the flag of nano sounds on informal Yalvin. And then we'll blast off into hyperdrive space. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. I can't wait. I mean, is it going to be even prettier? Oh my god. This is like quite. Still quite a barren planet. Ain't burning up in the Earth's atmosphere, Captain! Oh, it's blue! Do you know what? I cannot get over the way this game looks. Oh, it looks so good. So, 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 so good. Right. I name this planet the Bazhel Waste. A peaceful climate with passive sentinels, but not very much in terms of resources. Okay, hello? More croaky croaks. Right, let's ransack this place. So I can always come come back to these places. Yes, thank you. I like it. Are you gonna give me anything? No. First aid, sure. I would I would like that. I would like some first aid. Okay, so at least my standing with the Valkine has increased. Can I get anything else from this research station? More tech. Thank you. I like that. Another encyclopedia. A new word. The word for ancients. Oh man, I'm gonna be talking to these guys faster than expected. It's not low, but also, you know, it's worth it just so I can spin that little chair around. Yeah. So let's see if I can, uh, if I go to the options, informal Yalvin. Well, I think there's only going to be one thing that we call this. And it's in... Okay, I'm going to keep the informal. In... Fo... Fo... Mull. It was mull, was it? Actually, no. In... Fo... For... I know it was a little bit different. Informal. Crap! I keep pressing that. It's the wrong one. I don't mean to do that. I meant to call it informal nano sounds and I can't rename it. Well, I've wasted it. Learn from me, kids. Don't press R2, which I keep on doing. I keep on doing it as well. Keep on bloody doing it. Um, but inform I don't know. Informal's a pretty funny name. 
Right, oh wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to take a look at that thing over there. And also, uh, I might as well pick up some plutonium. Thank you. Get a little bit of iron, why not? Give me some more plutonium. Iron, iron, plutonium. Thank you. Uh, I want to check this thing over here and see if there's any more alien artifacts around. I'll probably need to make another bypass circuit. Okay, I need to make a bypass chip, which is... Uh, okay, bypass chip, bypass chip. Yep, we can do it. Okay, I'm going to ram it in your face. Right, what can we find here? A monolith, canalian outpost, transmission, and a shelter. I want to go to another monolith, thank you. You got one for me? Boop. Sweet. Right, let's go over there. Uh, where's my, where's my rad? I really love the aesthetic of this, of this game. Absolutely in love with it. I love these crazy structures like that. Uh, right, I seem to have flown over the monolith. Hello, monolith. Where are you? There it is. Okay. Land, please. Yeah, those crazy stone statues. It reminds me a lot of um, British sci-fi. And as we all know from anyone who watched my, um, my, oh, for God's sake. Everybody's gone to the Ratchet playthrough. There's one thing I love, it is British sci-fi. Just these square structures there. Who made them? I'm not low, I'm not low, it's all right. We're just gonna go here, activate this monolith. The ashes of that person, okay. The memories of a long-deceased tribe of Viking warriors flows from the stone marker, forming a ghostly essence that fills me with wisdom. Uh, okay. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vikings shall not impede their ascent, for the travellers must prevail. My knowledge of the Viking, Viking increases. Warrior. Did I already know the word for warrior? Oh. I guess it could be different types of warrior. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is pure sci-fi at its best. Okay, let's go. Create hyperdrive. Let's get back in my ship though, so I don't die in this strange planet. What would this planet kill me of? Nah, eh, nothing too much. Okay, um, let us inventory. Uh, I need to plug some more of this in as well. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to charge it with thormium. Um, okay, let's move... Let's move this. Uh, can I transfer? Transfer that. Craft warp cell. Bam. There we go. Uh, can I fuel up my... There we go. Uh, I'll keep that there for now. Okay, so it looks like we are ready to hypercharge it. First things first, let's bump this up with that. Seems about right. Okay. Uh, return, press, open charge window with X. I've done it. I've, I've done that. So let us take off. Let's leave informal nano. Do you know, I'm so excited to hear if you guys ever, ever find these places. Do you know what? Before we go, I just want to enjoy looking at... Look at that. That is so cool. I love the way that looks. This blasted landscape. It's like something where Cthulhu comes from. Just an ancient civilization. Right. I'm going to point myself this way and start going. And then we're going to engage this mother trucking hyperdrive. Pulse jump. Boom. Okay. So now how do I engage my hyperdrive? 
press that. Hyperdrive. Oh, charge. And then... Okay, let's drop out of warp. Open galactic menu. Whoa! So that's nano sounds. If you guys ever try to find it, I'm very far away from the center of the universe, though. So the ultimate game of the, the game goal of this game is to make it to the center of the universe. It's gonna take a long time. So that's that. So where should we go? Too far to jump. Okay, so I guess should we jump there for now? Four planets undiscovered. I think we should go. Hyperdrive, engage. Let's do it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Hey, look. And we have done galactic travel. Check it out. I'm in a new system. <gasps> What is that? Is that a giant thing? Craft more warp cells for hyperdrive. Acquire antimatter. Craft antimatter. Craft warp cells. Well, that is quite a lot that you want me to do there. Um, but also, what is this? Can I, can I board this? Hello? I don't want to destroy you. Can I just say hello? I'd, I'd quite like to say hello. Can I? It looks like I could maybe land or just uh oh no i've just screwed up my ship no abort abort reverse away shante away oh there's another spaceship over there i'm gonna blow up a bit of that though get some more thormium on the go these spaceships are cool oh my gosh well it would be rather rude to not discover this planet here. So let's go and land on this planet since we're in a new star. Oh, wow. Since we're in a new star system. No, don't. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. <laughs> I want to go down your butt. It's so green and luscious. Honestly, I think this is the thing that I'm enjoying the most out of this whole game is just the sense of flying and exploration. Look at this beautiful greenness, although it's, mm, although it does appear to be radiated up to the hilt. But that's okay. It looks like there's a lot for us to explore and to pick up resource wise. So first things first, let us go to, so we've discovered a new system. So I want to, okay, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I am going to uh, rename and upload. So rename, let's call this a rack. Done. And I'm going to call this planet because it's quite green. I'm going to call it Cam Buckland. And if we find more planets like this, like if we find a fiery one, I'll call that Juto. But yeah, I'm going to call, I'm going to find a bunch of planets and call them after the high rollers. There we go. So I'm going to start founding life in the name of the High Rollers. But check out this. Look at those crazy things. I don't know what they are. They look so weird. So if I do a quick scan. How far away is that thing? I don't want to, I don't want to attack them or fight them. I probably could. I don't want to. They look like weird triceratopses. Don't attack me, buddy. I don't want to fight. I just want to take this. And that. Oh my gosh, hello. Hiya. Oh, I want to feed you. I can feed it. 
Uh, okay, let me... Let me get some carbon. And then feed my first space alien. Okay. Hey! Hey, little dude! Let me feed you. Let me, let me, ooh. I can feed you. <gasps> oh, he likes me now. Hey. Hello. I'm nice. I'm just feeding stuff. Look, I'm just feeding things. So I fed that one. Can I feed him again? Do you want more food, buddy? Oh, you found something for me. me sink. Oh, thanks, buddy. You're so nice. So I guess, yeah, if I'm nice to the, the animals, they'll find me cool stuff. Oh my god, these look like crazy cauliflowers. That's awesome. Right, I'm gonna call you Duncan. Hello, Duncan. That's it. You go frolic, Duncan. You go frolic now. What if I feed this one? Hi! Do you want some food? Oh god. There we go. Have some food. Although it looks like my other ones found something too, or are you just jealous? Oh my god, they make weird, crazy sounds. It's got strange, like, flipper feet. Flipper feet. You gonna find me something cool as well? What have you found me? You found me. Oh, for God's sake. You're really ruining my uh, my moment here that I'm having. Aluminium. Ooh, that's one I haven't found yet. You guys are awesome. Even if you are just shoving your butt in my face there. Like, kind of kind of rude. Now, is that a monolith? Not a monolith. A learning thing. Have you found me something? Oh, sorry. Okay, right. Knowledge stone. What word are you going to give me now? Replace. Okay. So I know the word for replace. Ooh, heredium. I have learned eight words. Awesome. Right, well, I think I'm going to leave it off there uh, for today, guys. Especially now that I've found a new friend who's just put his bum in my face. Thank you. Most helpful. Wonderfully helpful. Um, so thank you very much for joining me so far in No Man's Sky. Uh, if you don't already know, I will be streaming this a lot. Um, so yeah, come and join me um, for some streams of No Man's Sky. I think I'm going to be fa playing a fair amount of this. If you manage to find any of my planets, then let me know. Um, and yeah, and if you'd like to see more videos on this, let me know as well. And we'll see how far we can get to the center of the universe. Thank you guys as ever, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Duncan! Bye! Oh, God.